Hi, this is Manansal VE. In this episode, I'll show you how to create this effect. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to expand on the techniques you learned and make this effect. And this one. I hope you are all doing well and staying safe. In the next few minutes, I'll do my best to entertain you and take your attention away from the ongoing issues. The method to italicize the text that is at the core of this tutorial works with any font, even if it doesn't natively support italics. The method was shared with me by one of the viewers of this channel, Punk80. Punk80, thank you for sharing your ideas with me. Now, let's start by seeing how regular text can be slanted to make it look italic. We start in Luma Fusion with a new 30 frames per second project. Open the sources list and tap on titles. Scroll to the standard title section. Select the angle white preset and drag it to the main track in the timeline. Your title should be at least six seconds. Adjust the duration of the title, if that's not the case. Edit the title. Tap on the Titles section and select the text element that says Your text here. Scroll to the Rotation field and change the value from 25.7 to 25.5. This will make it easier to counter the rotation in the next steps. Change the text, size, fonts, colors and shadow as you prefer. I selected the Arial Rounded Empty Bold font to demonstrate the workflow because it doesn't natively support italics. The text size I used is 98. Now tap on the Frame and Fit tab if you are not there already. Expand the Size and Position section if it's closed. Change the rotation to minus 25.5 to counter the text rotation applied to the title section. This will make the text appear horizontal again. The next step is in preparation for the animation part of this tutorial. Move the time slider to the 3 seconds mark and add a keyframe. Now move the time slider to the beginning of the clip. Let's apply some slanting to make the text look italic. Slanting is controlled by reducing size X below the 100 default value. For this step in the tutorial, set the value of size X to 70. Adjust the rotation to minus 34.5 to counter the text rotation. This will make the text horizontal again. Notice that these last two adjustments created a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. This will become useful shortly. Exit back to the timeline. Be sure that the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. And there you have it, text in an italic looking font. Now let's move forward and create the text animation that is the subject of this tutorial. Edit the clip again. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if you're not already there, and expand the Size and Position section if it's closed. In the previous steps, you have already created two keyframes a keyframe having slanted text at the beginning of the clip, and a second keyframe where there is no slanting and the text appears in a regular font at the 3 seconds mark. The animation created by these two keyframes looks like this. Now, move the time slider to the beginning of the clip and make sure the first keyframe is selected. By decreasing size X, you can slant the text even more, and you'll need to further adjust the rotation to keep the text in the horizontal direction. So let's push it to the limit. Set size X to 0.1. That's the smallest value you can set in Luma Fusion. Adjust the rotation to minus 90 to keep the text in the horizontal direction. This is how the animation looks like now.
The next step is to continue the motion from the 3 seconds mark to the 5 seconds mark. Move the time slider to the 5 seconds mark. This part may require some trial and error to get it right. The goal is to increase the size of the text to a value that will make the animation look as a single flow of motion. Notice that in this step I'm referring to the size value and not the size x value, like in the previous steps. For this tutorial, I'll change the size value to 129. A keyframe will be automatically created. This is how it looks so far. Now, let's zoom into infinity. Well, at least that's what I call it in this tutorial. Move the time slider to the 5 seconds and 10 frames mark. Using pinch and zoom, increase the size of the title to the point you can no longer see the text and you can see the full background between the letters. A keyframe will be automatically created. This is how it looks like now. At this point, you can save the animation as a motion preset as shown. Your new preset can be found here. Exit back to the timeline. Now, let's enhance the effect. Start by adding a background video. Now, add a sound bit and place it at the beginning of the reveal of the text, when the text is fully slanted. This sound should fade as the zoom into infinity starts. Lastly, add a whoosh sound effect that follows the text zooming into infinity. You can find many versions of this sound effect online and on Storyblocks. This is how the final result looks like. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.